Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another uh, UFC prediction video. Uh, this time it is for UFC 187. I'm actually pretty excited about this, this card. This is a big card. This, this is going to be the is, card to end all other cards. It's a good card. I mean, this is one of those cards that you look at the, the breakout, and it's almost like it's worth the money because of so many good names, oh, yeah. because of the, the fights, because of the, 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 what these people bring to the table. Oh, yeah. It's definitely worth the money. Um, I, I say this time we review four cards. Or four fights, four fights, real quick. Hopefully, all right. Um, let's start with uh, Brown versus Arvlowski. I always fuck that up. Ar Andre Arvlowski. Arvlowski. Whatever. Arvlowski. Is he the Pitbull? Andre. Andre. Or the pool? Pill? Pitbull. Yeah, his nickname is the Pitbull. Yeah. Andre. I think I'm just gonna call him Andre if that way I don't keep jacking this up. Travis Brown is ranked number three, which I did not know that. Yeah, he is. Is this what? What weight class is this? This is heavyweight. Heavyweight. And he's ranked number three. That's yeah, impressive. Man. Um, so Travis Brown, ranked number three. His nickname is Hapa. I almost have to Google that because I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> record 17, 2, and 1. Well, that's pretty impressive. Actually. That's pretty good. Uh, TKO, 76, sub 12, to 712. It's really funny because all these heavyweights, the decisions are very, very non-existent. It's very yeah. slow percentage. Uh, he's actually three inches taller than Andre Ar Arvlowski. I'm going to say that right before the end of the day. Um, it is the, the difference when the, w the weight actually makes a difference. Travis Brown is 255. While our velocity is 240, because hmm. there's no weight class limits. Yeah, there's no, no limits unless you're like super heavyweight, which doesn't exist. I hear what's the name does have to cut weight though, Bigfoot. Uh, our velocity, the pit bull, he's 23, 10, and zero, and one non no contest. Dude, the record's not that good. 23 and 10. No. I thought it was better because he's he carries a big name with him. Anyways, 70% uh, TKO, 13% sub, 17% uh, decision. So what do you think? Oh man, I don't know. Andre's on a bit on a roll. He was just like barely ranked like 15 a few months ago, and now he's already really? up to seven. Yeah, he's only had like two or three fights since coming back to the UFC. So I don't know, man. I might have to go with him just because I think he uh, he wants it. I'm gonna go with Travis, man. After seeing him take over his knees, I I had to just mentally tough. I'm gonna go with Travis just because he also has a really good clean record. Also has a pretty awesome tattoo on here. Yeah, well, he's got a lot of fucking tattoos. They look, all, they look pretty awesome in this picture. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. All right. No homo. No homo. <laughs> so next one. Try to move this. I was on a 10-minute video like those, the last one we did. Uh, Donald Cerrone, who who was going to fight. Who's the other guy? Who was he going to fight? Um, Nav Navoski. I can't remember. It's a Russian name. I would have fucked that up anyways. But now he's fighting John. Markable character. Mark Desi. Mark Desi, a.k.a. the Pitbull. Uh, everybody knows Pipples. Cerrone's nickname, Cowboy. Pibble is a very big name used for everybody. Is this final form, Cerrone? Uh, I believe it, it is, yeah. He's actually taking time off, so he might be actually very ready for another one. Yeah. Uh, Cowboy's Super record Cerrone. Cowboy's record is 27, 6, and 0. One no contest. Now I'm going to have to research these people's no contests. I want to know what happened. I think a no con. This is completely off subject. I think no contest is like when you get an illegal blow or somebody gets hurt or something like that, mm. like in the first 30 seconds of the match. Interesting. I don't know. Like, we're not super... Well, I've heard them doing no contests, too, when guys come back with, like, positive drug tests. Oh, really? And, and they get the no contest because um, they remove it from the record. Oh, okay. But not saying Cerrone's doing yeah, anything no, and not huh. saying that's what he did, but... No, no, yeah, no. I, I, I've heard that, too, before. Uh, it could he, be any of those three things we just said. Look at this, though. It's surprising. I think his KO rate is 15%, which is surprising. I've seen him, though, when he does kind of get guys really beat up and then he goes for the submission. But that still seems really low to me. That does seem kind of low. 56% sub, 30% decision. Well, that's quite a bit of decision. Although, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, he doesn't really knock people out that much. No, but he's a good striker. Yeah, he's technical. a good striker. He's a really good striker, but yeah, no, now that I'm thinking about it, he doesn't really kill you forever. Well, it depends, I guess. I've seen him fucking kill people. All right, so he's actually five inches taller than my John. I'm going to call him John. John, because he's he's... He's taller, five inches taller. That's interesting. Um, the John MacDessy, MacDessy. I don't know how Rogan does this shit. He has to read these people's names He's all the Rogan. fucking time. Fucking Mad ridiculous. props to Rogan for Mad getting props. all these names. Um, right. John MacDessy, twelve and three. That's not. I mean, he's got a small record, but it's still pretty good. But and I guess I can't talk shit because small is actually this pretty good record. That's pretty. Um, sixty-seven percent knockout rate. That's pretty insane. That's pretty. He's got zero good. sub. Wow. That dude's decision. a hitter. 
it's really funny. You could tell by the weight classes how much decision there is. The yeah. smaller the weight classes, the more the decisions, the higher the weight classes, yeah. the smaller the decision percentage. Uh, he's, once again, five inches shorter than, than Cerrone. Who do you got? Uh, you know, you got to go final form Cerrone over here. I mean, there's no reason to go against him. Even though he did lose against, uh, what's his name, Ben Henderson the other day, or a few months ago. Everybody's saying that he yeah, he, didn't he lose lost, that. but I mean, wait, no, wait, oh, oh, you're right, he lost that, right? Yeah, but, he lost that. Ben yeah. Henderson technically lost it by decision, but yeah. they are saying that Cerrone didn't look as good. Yeah, no. But the problem is too is that he's he's taking these fights one after the other. He needs yeah. some rest. I'm gonna go with Cerrone, it, and it, it really depends on how he comes into it, like if he's got the right mindset. But he, he, I think he could do it. He's got so much experience, man. Sometimes it's hard going against that. Sometimes it's really hard going against that. Yeah, man. Uh, all right, so we got that. Um, next fight. Next fight, a, a title fight. We've got Chris Weidman, which he looks a little fucking weird in this photo, to be honest with you. That head don't match his body. That's a little odd. Um, Chris Weidman against Vitor Belfort. Uh, the Phenom is, I guess, Vitor's nickname. How does Chris Weidman not have a nickname? You don't need one. I guess not. Uh, he's like the. He's gonna be the silver killer. Yeah, um, pretty much. So Chris is twelve and zero. Wow. The Chris. I didn't know it was that good. Chris 12 and 0 he's got 12 42% knockout 25% sub 33% decision he's two inches taller than Vitor you know his knockout race probably got bumped up like 10% just because of the Silva <laughs> fight yeah. right it's, it was actually like at 30 and he bumped it up to like yeah. 42 uh, Vitor is 24 10 and 0 he's got a lot of fights under yeah, his belt too a lot of fights I, I bet you he took a lot of damage I yeah. bet you those 10 were like under before his fucking final form Vitor yeah, his final form, uh, Vitor. 71% knockout, 13 sub, 17 decision. Before he found the power of Jesus. Jesus. Who you got? Jesus. Uh, Chris Weidman. Because he beat Lyoto Mishida. So, I'm going with him. You know, Mishida needs to retire. Um, all right, so we... I don't know, man. I think this go either way. I mean, if Vitor comes out aggressive as shit... I'm going to give it to Chris. Yeah, Chris. I have to really think about it. I got to give it to Chris. Because you can talk all the shit you want about Chris Weidman saying he just he got, got lucky, lucky yeah. with those two against Silva. Yeah, okay. Well, you can say that, but he was not going to lose the second time in his rematch against Silva. There was no way he was going to lose. He was going to whoop his ass either way. And in his fight against Mishida, too, he was like, no, I'm not going to lose. There's just no fucking way I'm losing. And he's probably going to take that same mindset into this fight. He's going to be like, there's no way I'm letting Super Vitor over here beat me. I'm just not losing. Guess that Goku mentality. He's like, I'm not losing. I'm not yeah. going to lose. It'll be interesting, but I still want to give it to Chris. I think he can He can do it. I think he can keep the belt. I think he's going to keep I the think, belt. I think he can do it. might be a good fight, but watch out for spinning head kicks. Yeah, no shit. All right, final fight. We're, we're doing not good time already. Um, Anthony Rumble Johnson, he's num now number one ranked mm -hmm. uh, against Daniel Cormier, number three. Th that Gustafson coming from a tear of just destruction just took down Gustafson. I saw that we have a fight recently. Uh, Rumble is at 19, 4, and 0. 64% mm -hmm. knockout. I would think that'd be higher. 0% sub. He's like, no fucks given. I don't give a shit about subbing. 32% decision. And he is three inches taller than Daniel. Daniel is 15 and one, which is pretty freaking impressive. 53% uh, knockout, 13% sub, 33% decision. Um, he is 71 inches tall. I was thinking as I was reading that, I was wondering who's training with Daniel. Is it going to be um, Luke Rockhold or is it going to be Kane? Because I, I almost don't want to think you want to have Kane train with him because Kane's about to fight soon too. Yeah. You almost don't want because you got to peak him and you don't want to peak Kane before Daniel and Daniel's going to fight before you. I don't know. Wait, no. No, you're right. Yeah, he's going to fight before Kane. I don't know, man. Actually, I think it'll work out because you would want to. You're going to yeah, peak. No, you're going to work gonna, out. Yeah, it'll work out because you're going to peak Kane uh, yeah. later on. I would say you'd want to you'd want to train with Kane just because I think Rumble's a little bit wider, maybe. He's probably a little stronger. A little stronger. Um, I think that would give you the best. I mean... Not, I mean, Rockhold's a good fighter, but I don't think he has that, like, you know, a certain build. You don't have that build that Johnson has. So what do you think? 
Man, this is a hard fight. And this is a good fight. This is a good fight. I think this, this is, is a, a better fight. fight than Jones versus Rumble. Why? Because everybody wants to see Rumble versus Jones, right? I don't. I, that's fine. I almost think like if Jones could keep the distance, he would have beat Johnson only because I saw G Johnson versus Gustafson. And Johnson knows he can knock guys out. Mm -hmm. And he's willing to take a lot of damage to yeah. knock a guy out. Yeah, and I he, saw him get punched yeah. square in the face. He wanted to get that knockout so he could get yeah. the title fight. So he wanted to make it look impressive. But yeah, he took a lot of damage. Like, and, but uh, it wasn't just about the damage he took. It was about the damage he took square in the face. Like he took it to the face, like not even trying to defend it. That way he can, yeah. get, the, he can get in. I just, I, I think John Jones would have poked his eye out. <laughs> or he would have he would have just kept the distance and, and just not not gotten it. I don't know. I don't know. And and John's hasn't been knocked John hasn't been knocked out yet, so who knows? But this is more interesting to me because these two guys will bang. Yeah. And and Daniel's coming from like a he being used to fighting at a higher weight class. Uh, Johnson's now finally in a weight class he probably should have been in from the beginning before his crazy weight cuts. This is a more interesting fight to me. Yeah, I wanna I'm gonna go Daniel Cormier because it, it, finally you're removing the big variable, yeah. which is which is height advantage. Mm. These guys are fairly similar. I mean, of course, Daniel's a little shorter, but you're that's a big weapon for John when you could keep a guy away. Now they, that's not an issue. Now this is just gonna be a straight up fight, mm -hmm. and these guys are both big wrestlers. Daniel being a, a, an Olympic a wrestler, I don't know what Daniel's. I think he's got like a high school high school or college background. I can't remember what it is. But this is a more interesting fight to me. Who do you got, dude? I'm going to let you pick first because I think I know who I'm going with. Yeah, Daniel Cormier. He's gonna You're going with Daniel? He's, I'm going to go with him. I think he can... Uh, it's actually who I was going with. I'm going to go with Daniel. I just feel like Daniel can take fucking damage. I think he can take a punch of, of rumbles. And no. I think if he could take Kane's punches, I think he could take Daniel's punches. Yeah, that, I mean, I think it's Johnson's. Yeah, I think he can take it. I mean, he took, yeah, Jones's punches. And we haven't seen Johnson go back no, after really. we haven't seen him after the first and second round. You know, we haven't yeah. seen the longevity of he if he can keep that momentum going for that long. So, for argument's sake, I'm gonna go Daniel. I yeah. really want to see this fight. I'm going Daniel too. All right, ladies and gents, that is a fight uh, preview video. This is actually quite a long video, so if you stuck with us, thanks, Jesus. Um, and uh, yeah hit the like button if you like these kind of videos please post down below who you think who your picks are and uh, we'll talk about it once we see the comments I guess and after the fight it'd be interesting yeah. to go back and see this see you guys next time